beautiful friends, it's Julia here from Made by the Chef. Today's mindfulness message is about empathy. Now, I'd like to believe that we all have some level of empathy and some of us will be more empathic than others. Empathy is that beautiful word that sits at the center of love, compassion, kindness, of giving, of understanding. It's that feeling when you are intuitively in touch with someone else. It's that ability to be able to communicate with someone, sometimes without even having to talk. So we're not all mind readers and we learn empathy from a very young age. In fact, some scientists would say that empathy is something that we develop from the time we're born. And where some of us might have more empathy than others, it may be because we were cuddled more, we were, um, had more affection and emotion in our lives. And when you've experienced that as a child, as a baby, getting bigger, growing up, then you're more likely to have those feelings of empathy. When we meet someone for the first time, we ask questions. We want to know about them, and that is empathy. Wanting to have a chat with someone and finding out about who they are, where they've come from. Many times when we meet someone, we can have a sense of affinity with them. So maybe we've got a common ground, something we both believe in, or maybe it's an exercise we practice. Maybe it's a skill we have. Could be a love of cooking or a, a love of the outdoors. Maybe it's cycling or whatever it is. That's empathy, because you can relate to somebody else. And that's really the most important thing about empathy. So that's really the most important thing about empathy, is being able to relate to somebody and understand how they're feeling. Now don't confuse it with sympathy. Sympathy is another beautiful emotion. But really sympathy is, you know, when you feel sadness for someone's loss, say. See, whereas empathy is where you can really feel an affinity, really feel what that person is going through. So when we have empathy, it also creates forgiveness. It creates a beautiful feeling of warmth. When you get to know somebody, when you have empathy with someone, and that could be your brother, your sister, your friend, your lover, we practice forgiveness. We practice that compassion and that kindness and that love and that giving. How can you be more empathic towards others though? Well, there are things that you can do. So first of all, I always say, be open. Be open to someone else. Set aside your prejudices. Set aside your judgments. Let them go. Because once you open your heart and open yourself to others, then you can get a true understanding of what they're feeling. See, empathy actually starts from within. In order to be empathic towards others, you have to have that feeling to yourself. You have to empathise with yourself. In fact, you have to be non-judgmental. So when we practice mindfulness, Mindfulness is a beautiful way to create that empathy, to feel that empathy. When we go through this mindfulness practice, mindfulness is all about personal awareness. So we're aware of our emotions, we're aware of our thoughts, but we don't dwell on them too much. What we do is we give them that platform to be there but we don't then sit there and worry about that. So we look at within ourselves, 
and we give love to ourselves. We have that personal awareness because once we do that, we're able to do that more for others around us. So as well as being open and having an open heart, an open heart for yourself and for others, try something new. Another way to be empathic is to walk in someone else's shoes. Do something that you've seen others do and that maybe you haven't tried yet. Listen. Yeah. Being empathic is about listening and really hearing what someone's got to say. So being able to just sit with somebody and allow them to speak, allow them that safe space to talk about their feelings and talk about what they're going through. And really, truly, deeply, deeply listen. Be curious. When you're curious about something, it means that you are willing to learn. It means that you want to know more about a particular topic. It means you want to understand more about what's going on. Yes. See, curiosity is what builds knowledge and that builds power. Do something good. Do something for somebody else. Do something. Speak to someone on the bus, on the train, in the street. Say hi. Offer to help someone with their bags. Go and volunteer at a charity. See, empathy really is about that love, that compassion, that kindness, that giving, that sense of belonging, that understanding. Empathy is about putting yourself in someone else's shoes and really giving respect to what they're feeling and what they're going through. So practice empathy, because I know it's in you, it's in me. What I wish for is a world full of love and kindness where we are all one. Have a wicked day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon.